The development of both Meyerhold's theater and biomechanics was cut short violently by the increasing Stalinization of Soviet society, which resulted in the regimentation of artistic thought and the normative dogma of socialist realism. His theater was closed in 1938. In 1939, Meyerhold himself was arrested, and after a sham trial, executed in 1940. For a long time, biomechanics was strictly taboo. In this historic series of photographs, Nikolai Kustov demonstrates the etude, shooting from the bow. During the 1930s, Kustov was an actor and the instructor for biomechanics at the Meyerhold State Theater. Lee Strasberg brought these photographs back to the United States after a trip to Moscow in 1934. Since then, there have been a number of attempts in Western Europe and the United States to reconstruct biomechanics from photographs and historical materials. But none of these has been able to base itself on an immediate, practical transmission of Meyerhold's system. In the Soviet Union itself, it was only in the 1970s that Nikolai Kustov could pass his... To work in the way that I was used to doing in school. When did you discover that biomechanics is more than a system for training actors? I can tell you that exactly now. I've thought about it a lot. When, finally, I really internalized the principles of biomechanics. And I can now say that this happened when I truly came to a deep understanding of the essence of the biomechanical etudes. We spent most of our time learning the etudes, memorizing them. For us, they were new, unfamiliar material. Initially, we didn't know how to deal with them. Some of the actors had trouble coordinating the movements or meeting the physical demands. It was only when we had gained a command of the etudes, of their structure and choreography, that we began gradually to understand the real principles of biomechanics, a cas, a seal, tormos, more deeply. This required great efforts in daily training. In Russia, Nirdeshok, Natushtrosta, Vosilovet, Meyerhold. Tini, Natto Jibone, Prothum Thikei, Bivino, Thorone, Natokni, Experiment Corin. Tini, Radicalism, Prikhapot Chilo, Soviet, Biplave, Prostutikal. Moscow Art Theatre, Jogdane, Age, Meyerhold, Dance and Musical Dramatic School, Etar. Nato Jivon Shurukorin. O Procholito Theatre Setting Se Shadiri Shotao Protikotar Mukabilaitar Ushnani Mulok Urikanirikatake Aduni Anturjati Theatre Onotoma at Churanto Bahini Hisebe Goretul. Great Purve Shomoy, Mayor Holke, Unisho Choli Shale, February Pay, Greater Korahochilo, Nirjatito. নির্যাতন ও হত্যা করা হয়েছিল মানে মায়ারহোল এই থিয়েটারটা যে করে বা সে থিয়েটার নিয়ে যে পথচলাটা শুরু করে তার জন্য তাকে শেষ সময়ে এসে নির্যাতিত হতে হয় এবং তাকে হত্যাও করা হয় তো আমরা মায়ারহোলের বায়োমেকানিক্স যেটা সেই বিষয়টা নিয়ে আমরা একটু জানি আমরা একটা প্রোডাকশনের মতো দেখলাম কিছুটা কস্টিউম তো উনি কিন্তু অ্যাক্টরস কস্টিউমের উপর জোর দিচ্ছে উনি ক্যারেক্টার কস্টিউম বলছেন না 
So in the first part of the, part of the tape, we're going to do a series of exercises which are Meyerhold's system for training actors. Now the kind of actors he were tra was training were workers, not people that are like in MFA programs or something, but people that had jobs all day long and only had a short time to learn how to act and to learn what they were going to do in the play. So he scientifically designed the most efficient series of exercises that he thought would teach people how to act. Now he approached acting from an outside kind of angle, a physiological angle, as opposed to inspirational angle, angle that Stanislavski used which was, uh, as we all know, you feel something and then you do it. Meyerhold said you do something and then you feel it afterwards. For example, when one decides upon and follows through with the execution of a movement, then the individual will physically experience a reactionary impulse influencing all other body parts. And Meyerhold war, um, worked with his actors to find that uh, from a sequence of physical positions and situations, there arises those points of excitation which are informed with. When he bolted, I changed it actually. I'm a dead, yeah, I get in actors who will be TTD, will call actually a movement artist. Only set a company or movement artist will be shot. The Amar Shori director, me, Ongo Bongi Kulam, and Meyerhold will say, I'm just a baker Dalam. Eat a day, Kim Habnachin to ask. সেখান থেকে কোন কোন নাটকীয় মুহূর্ত তৈরি হচ্ছে কি সেই জায়গাটা মানে বোঝাতে পারছি আমরা একটা মুভমেন্ট একটা একভাবে দাঁড়ালাম অঙ্গভঙ্গি করলাম সেটা থেকে কি মনে হচ্ছে সেটা থেকে আমাদের মানসিকতা কি আছে যে কি হতে পারে সেই ক্যারেক্টারটা সেখান থেকে it's kind of like Pavlov's idea of behavior modification. You know the dogs that would hear the bell and they salivitate. Well, what happened is that you, you, uh, there's a chain of, of actions. And instead of in some kinds of inside acting, you feel something and then you do it out of that. Well, the chain of events is turned around and you do something in a very strong way and then you feel it or you have some kind of reaction on the inside. So this set of exercises is designed to teach the actors to be sensitive to their bodies, basically. Sensitive to, to feeling what their body is doing and reacting. Again, Meyerhold concentrated with his actors to apply both Tayloristic principles of motion economy, simply watching the motion and using the least amount of motion necessary when one moves, and use James' emotion theory when he worked with his actors, which caused them to automatically experience an entire gamut of emotions. Again, it's due to a constantly changing arrangement of musculature, but with the least amount of physical tension. Tension, yes. Rigidity, yes. But not an over extent of it to where you can't connect emotion with physicalization. So, we've been working on these exercises for... Well, we, did, we did a lot of... The first full etude we'll be doing is shooting the bow. Meyerhold says, biomechanics doesn't tolerate anything accidental. Everything must be done consciously and with prior calculation. The objective of this particular etude is development of free broad shoulders and arm movements and use of horizontal extensions of the body for finding centers of gravity. Now the first time John goes through this, I'm going to read the instructions for the etude. Just... <laughs> The actor falls to the floor. He draws his legs and arms together. Rising on his right foot, he slowly draws up an imaginary bow. The actor advances with his left shoulder forward and his right foot back. Spotting an imaginary target, he transfers his weight from his right foot to his left and back to the right foot. Describing an arc with its center at his right shoulder, the actor's balance is shifted from the right leg to the left and back again to the right. He draws an imaginary arrow from his belt or imaginary quiver. Very quickly, he bends his upper torso towards the floor. Now slowly, the actor straightens up, holding his extended arms in a rigid position. The left arm is drawn out toward the front. The right arm is thrown back at a slightly lower level. He slowly loads the imaginary bow and draws it back. The actor aims. He fires with a shout. His body immediately contorts like a sprung bow into positions of refusal. Return to position. Now John will show it in a regular speed, and I'll give you a clap to start.